What is up, my friend? Donnie Baker here with the LPR Sound Foundation. Hey, have you ever been mixing in Pro Tools and found that, you know, you're listening along and all of a sudden you're, the snare drum just is not hitting where it, it feels like it's off a little bit. What you need to do is check and make sure that your delay compensation is turned on. Let's go take a look at that. I'll show you where it's at. Okay, a couple of quick Pro Tools tips. When you're tracking audio, you want to have your HW buffer size or your hardware buffer size as low as possible. And that's going to keep the latency to a minimum. Now, when you're mixing, it doesn't really matter. So you should make your HW buffer size as large as possible. Another trick when you're mixing and you start adding a bunch of plugins, you start adding EQs, you start adding compression, you start adding reverbs, you start adding delays. All of this takes time for your computer to process. Okay, now what you need to do, you, when you're mixing and you start adding more and more plugins, you might start to notice, oh, hey, that snare drum hit just doesn't feel like it's hitting in the same spot. Feels like things are moving. You need to go to options and make sure that your delay compensation is turned on. Okay, you can check your delay compensation by going to your mixer window and turn it on. And then you can see the delay compensation. You can see how much it's delaying everything else to compensate for the processing that your computer is doing. You can see that this reverb I have turned on is delaying everything else by 64 samples to keep it from sounding offset. So when you start adding more and more plugins, you'll notice that the delays are turning on. Now this is an automatic delay compensation, so you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure that it's selected here while you're mixing. You don't really have to have that on while you're tracking. This is where your HW buffer size is gonna come in handy. If you do find that while you're tracking, you get the error that says that maybe Pro Tools can't get the audio from the hard drive fast enough, you'll need to increase your HW buffer size. But what that's gonna do while tracking is add latency. Sometimes latency is an issue, especially if you're dealing with a guitar player, especially if you're dealing with a sensitive singer. Um, I usually, with vocals, I'll keep it around 128. Maybe 256 is too much for, for vocals. Uh, it's definitely too much for, for guitar players. Guitar players, I keep it between 32 and 64. All I do is really, I keep the plugins to a minimum while I'm tracking. This is gonna help with your latency and it's gonna help your, uh, it's gonna help your artist perform better. Hey, so hopefully you you understand that, and it, it, it sh kind of shows that that you know how Pro Tools actually kind of operates. It kind of it has a lot to do with with what your computer has and your RAM and and your processing. It it, it it's all going to vary. There's not like one specific that's going to happen for everyone. But if you do start to notice that things are turned off, I always make it a habit just to check my delay compensation when I'm when I'm mixing, because I know I'm gonna be adding some processing in, you know, via plugins and things like that. So glad I could help you out with that. Go check that out next time you're mixing. Make sure that's turned on and check it out, man. I mean, go turn it on on your mixer window and, and see what it looks like. See how much your computer is having to delay everything. See how much the plugins are having to delay all of your other tracks. So check that out. We'll see you next time on the channel. My name is Donnie Baker and I am out of here.